Hello, Buccaneer fans. Welcome to the Advent Health Training Center. We are right outside the draft room, and I'm joined by General Manager Jason Light, who, after a one-year hiatus from this room, is about to go back in there and begin work on the most important weekend of the offseason. Jason, thank you for your time right before the draft, and good luck this weekend. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. As I alluded to, last year uh, it was a virtual draft. You worked out of a specially appointed room in your own home. If I remember correctly, you even found a few things you enjoyed about that, but are you happy this year to be back in person with your staff, and are there any new challenges to this setup? Uh, you know, I am happy to be back. I'm happy to have all the, the scouts will all be somewhere in the facility here. So I'll be <laughs> able to talk with them and, um, we can, they can, uh, be part of the experience cause they put on in all of the work for this draft. So it's good to be back with everybody. It's going to be a little bit less people in the draft room than normal, but, um, but they're all here and they're all accessible. Well, you said recently that this draft for the Buccaneers could be a draft of wants rather than a draft of needs. Can you explain to Buccaneer fans how that affects your approach and strategy this weekend? Yeah, it, it truly is going to be uh, the best available, which is exciting. And it's one thing that we all as a staff are um, looking forward to. So we can watch it kind of fall to us, see where it ends up, uh, you know, there in the late, late end of the, the back end of the draft. It, um, we can, we've gone through a lot of scenarios. There's more scenarios this year than yeah. we've ever been a part of. But it truly is um, um, a situation where we can just get the best player available and we're not necessarily looking for that player to have to step into a huge role his rookie year, which is also a great thing. You mentioned scenarios. That's what I was going to ask you about next. When you're picking fifth or seventh or probably even 14th in a round, you can probably game out a lot of the scenarios of what picks would go before you're on the clock. I imagine that's probably not possible to pick 32, but do you think you and your staff can – predict with at least some accuracy a handful of guys you'll be interested in that could be available at the end of the round? Definitely, for sure. And there, there's going to be a good player there. I promise you that. So um, we've, we've got to narrow down. We know that there's a possibility, let's say, let's call it five players that we have a pretty good feel, um, one of which will be there. And everything's still on the board? Everything's still on the table? Trade up, trade down? Everything's always on the table. <laughs> We're not going to turn down any phone calls. So um, we never do, and that's always been part of our philosophy here. Finally, Jason, I know the focus today and this weekend is on the draft, but the reason that you're in this position to be best player available after winning the Super Bowl, and that's why you're picking 32nd, is you were able to return almost the entire roster virtually intact for next year. Uh, I know that was the plan all along. Bruce Arians made that pretty clear at the Bow Parade, but it was never going to be easy. And uh, it's very uncommon. So now that you've gotten to this point, are you surprised at all that you and your staff and the players and the agents were able to get that accomplished? Uh, you know, that's a, that's, a that's a tricky question to answer. I didn't know at the time when I doubled down on, on Bruce's comment at the, at the, <laughs> at the Bow Parade as well. Yes. So we're going to bring them all back. I didn't realize that it hadn't been done since, uh, you know, whatever, 1977, 78. <laughs> Um, if I would have known then, <laughs> I, may not the have said those, high. I may not have said those words, but uh, uh, no, I, I, you know, in a roundabout way of answering this, I, I am not surprised because we had such a strong, uh, cohesive locker room. We have a great leader in Bruce. We have a great leader in Tom um, at quarterback, and everybody wanted to be a part of it. Well, excellent. Again, Jason, thank you for your time right before you start the draft, and uh, best of luck the whole weekend. I appreciate it. Thank you.